नमस्कार दिस इज मी सानिया राज बैक अगेन आपके साथ फिर मैं जुड़ी हुई हूँ आज फिर से हम बात करेंगे हमारे प्यारे चहीते सुशांत सिंह राजपूत और उनके साथ साथ मैं जिया खान और दिशा सालियाल के बारे में भी बात करूंगी कि ये जो सारे बच्चे जो हमारे इस यू नो इतने टैलेंटेड लोग जो निकले जो चले गए बिना कुछ कहते हैं ना कुछ हमें कुछ पता ही नहीं चला क्या हो गया इनके साथ जो कि हमें अब पता चला है उनके साथ जब वो थे तब हमें पता नहीं था कि कैसे उनकी जिंदगी यहाँ चल रही थी बट जब वो चले गए तब हमारे को बहुत स्टोरीज पता चली और उसी बातों को हम बरकरार करके हम आगे बढ़ेंगे और इस मुद्दे को जगा कर रखेंगे तो इसीलिए आज मैं जुड़ रही हूँ राबिया जी के साथ जो जिया खान की मदर है आठ साल से वो इस यू uh, नो you know, इससे जस्टिस से ये सबसे लड़ाई कर रही हैं अपनी बेटी की यू नो जस्टिस के लिए वो ट्रूथ के साथ रहना चाहती हैं और वो कह रही हैं सबसे वो सबके सारे प्लेटफॉर्म्स में सब जगह जाकर एक ही उनकी दौड़ है कि मुझे जस्टिस मिले जो सच है बाहर आए तो उनको लगता है डिवाइन जस्टिस जरूर मिलेगा बट जो सच है जो सारे अथॉरिटीज हैं एजेंसीज हैं वो एटलीस्ट सच तो बोले वो इसी दौड़ में एक मां अपने बच्चे के लिए लड़ती जा रही है आठ साल के लिए और आज हम उनसे जुड़ेंगे और उनसे और बातें करेंगे क्योंकि वो जब अपने दिल की बात रखती हैं तो उनके पास फैक्ट्स होते हैं वो इमोशनल जरूर है बट फैक्ट्स का ध्यान रखकर वो बात करती हैं तो हम आज उनसे जुड़ेंगे फिर से और वो अपने दिल की बात रखेंगी और अपने फैक्ट सामने रखेंगी आई जस्ट इनवाइट रबिया जी ऑन द सीन हेलो मैम हेलो कैसी हैं आप ऑल गुड गुड जी 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 बिल्कुल मैम हम जुड़ रहे हैं एक्चुअली हमने काफी पीछे से हमने बात करी है और मैं मुद्दे पे आऊंगी कि आप आठ साल से जिया के लिए लड़ रही हैं और हर प्लेटफॉर्म में गई हैं मुझे ये बताइए मैम क्योंकि हम जब बात कर रहे थे पीछे से हमने ये बात करी थी जो मुझे बड़ा लगा कि क्योंकि आप अपनी बेटी के लिए तो लड़ी रही हैं आप दूसरों के लिए भी आवाज है आपने दिशा के लिए भी लड़ाई आवाज आगे बढ़ाई आपने सुशांत सिंह राजपूत के लिए भी आगे बढ़ाई आवाज तो आई वॉन्ट टू जस्ट कनेक्ट यू आई विल कनेक्ट यू विद दिशा विद जिया केस टू बट आप जब हम आप और मैं जब बात कर रहे थे तो हम बात कर रहे थे कि जो इस केस की जो सुशांत केस की चार्जशीट ही नहीं लगाई है सीबीआई ने तो उसका थोड़ा सा आप लाइट यू विल कम बैक टू ऑन दैट टॉक कि जो हम बात कर रहे थे कि भाई क्या हो क्या रहा है यस देखिए सुशांत भी एक एक्टर था जी अभी एक एक्टर थी तो एक ही फर्टर्निटी के मेंबर्स हैं वो लोग एंड दोनों के ऊपर ये स्कैंडल लगा दिया कि ये डिप्रेस थे और दोनों ही बहुत ही टैलेंटेड और ऐसे बैकग्राउंड से थे कि जहाँ पर इनकी वेल एजुकेशन थी सिक्योरिटी थी एंड लॉट ऑफ लव एंड लॉट ऑफ कंफर्ट एंड दे वर वेरी आर्टिकुलेटेड एंड हैड फ्यूचर प्लान्स एंड फिल्म वाज नॉट दी ओनली यू नो बिजनेस फॉर देम सो वेन इट केम टू Or you are asking me why my heart goes for Sushant. I am a mother. Exactly. First of all, I am a mother, and I can feel the pain of other mother. Even I, I do understand the uh, the feeling of a criminal's mother. That unko bhi kitna dukh hota hoga ye jaan kar ke unke unka bacha uh, criminal nikal gaya. Do you understand me? Why unke bache ne kisi aur ma ke bache ko mar diya? ये एक बहुत ही गहरा घनोनी कर्म है आ, किया है और ये आएगा उनके ऊपर लेकिन कमिंग टू पीड़ा तो पीड़ा होती है ना अब द पेन दैट आई हैव फॉर माय चाइल्ड आई डेफिनेटली फील द पेन ऑफ सुशांत पेरेंट्स दिशा सालियंस मदर एंड फादर आई फील हाउ दे आर वेदर दे आर सपोर्टिव और नॉट सपोर्टिव इज अ वेरी डिफरेंट इशू but the pain is pain so if i can accumulate other people's pain then i am also healing my own pain 
it heals me because it's just not my alone pain it's the other people's pain also so you know you your shoulders become more broader to carry that pain so ever since i i became very supportive to this realizing oh my god what that family must be going through because we know what we went through and what we are going through because see grief is not time factor it's not time bounded ki ek teen din rahega char din rahega teen saal rahega it is we are frozen we as victim get frozen and we it's very difficult to move from that uh, uh, dimension and to move on people may, may say ki are you know now she's gone will not come back move on it's easy we yes we are living yes we are uh, uh, living in her beautiful memories and it, we get an opportunity to smile also but everything in the back of it is her is is our child's memories that is making us live also she has not said mummy i will go away you also go away no she said she is very much in our spiritual realm and we hear a conversation we hear a voices that we have already heard so now coming to uh, this time when it was a one year anniversary of sushant singh i raised this subject i said our case went to cbi in 2014 september 2014 and november 2015 cbi had filed the charge sheet when we received the charge sheet that was a different story we saw how much work cbi has done and how much work they have not looked into so looking at my chart the charge sheet that they presented i saw that most 80% was cut and paste from the police's charge sheet now in sushant singh case there has never been a charge sheet a police never charged anyone not even an abatement in in jia's case suraj pancholi was charged as an accused for abatement to suicide but he was charged now what happens when the judiciary in the judiciary system when the trial goes on the lot of evidences evidences can be brought during the trial also investigation is never stopped investigation goes on now the thing is that during that trial and investigation the the case from 306 can turn into 302 and these things have happened now my question is that the corruption is into that height that the prosecution which is the police who is supposed to collect the evidences is not taking to the court so when the evidences don't reach the court the justice system the court the judge who is there to give justice is not looking into evidence because they are not there so she cannot pass a judgment mm. she cannot give justice so on that basis of lack of evidence the the criminals are ready for acquittal you understand me so this is their plan actually this is the strategy they are moving into because in sushant's case C- police has not filed a charge sheet yeah. and cbi has no, not filed a charge sheet because cbi probably does not have any evidences and nobody is ready to speak no witnesses witnesses are scared people in the machinery of uh, law enforcement is scared nobody has got guts so uh, in my case many a times i got threat death threats witnesses got death threats uh, menika harsingani who was a witness to many many things gave her a statement was threatened by the police that now that you are saying this now you be careful because you don't know what you're getting into and you live with your mother alone so she vanished from the radar so cbi a uh, uh, few things that cbi managed even when they were trying to interrogate the accused they were put under pressure by by uh, by uh, t- uh, told by pre- uh, authorities higher than them that don't touch him and don't interrogate him the bollywood icons called them and said don't because we are launching him and uh, my thing is that why did poli- uh, cbi officer not say that you mind your business probably the phone call must have been also from a higher much higher political power that is why cbi officer uh, could not say you know you mind your business and let us do our job do you get my point yes so in sushant's case when there is no evidence given to cbi 
what charge sheet are they going to because from the charge sheet then you will know whether cbi is going to the right direction or the wrong direction whether what they are saying is right or what what they are saying is wrong so when we received cbi's charge sheet that also we got it cbi filed it in conclusive charge sheet in a rush because we gave four forensic doctor experts opinion from all over the world from india and abroad now that exercise me and my family has done it jia's family did it in fact we missed our christmas doing cbi's job looking at call logs looking at cctvs so none of the even in cbi's charge sheet jia's pictures injury pictures were not added jia's cctv was not added so many things evidences were not added which we through supreme court had to submit it we had to go from high court to supreme court to trial court so like that i was doing a marathon and it cost money every step you are spending money so what kind of a task you are uh, sushant's family is expecting what kind of a task and expenditure is public ex uh, uh, expecting is public expecting that the government will take out a huge amount of fund and give it to cbi to investigate sushant singh case where great politicians or or high end uh, elite uh, uh, criminals are involved do you think so this will happen yeah or is it a public crowd fund that is going to go towards uh, 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 getting justice for sushant i think that should be a movement get a crowd fund and and do it then you will have the best of the faces of the lawyers because in my case one of the officer told me madam why don't you get you know high end uh, lawyers like harish salve or or tony jet malani i said i had very high end faces on the court in fact uh, uh, tony jet malani represented me that is mahesh jet malani uh, ram jet malani's uh, uh, son who is a very a uh, prominent face in supreme court right mr subhash jha represented me he is a supreme court lawyer mr salman khurshid represented me who was a law in a uh, law congress law uh, 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 minister he is a advocate he is a supreme court advocate so it is uh, uh, which face has not represented me in the in the court but when the criminals are managing with their high end influence and uh or with their uh, power of money or or uh, status then even the courts are managed so i am waiting for that time factor that's why i'm not stopping so if you stop then the game is over and that is what the criminals agenda is that is the strategy that you you should tire them now i i suppose you know uh my advice will be that there should be crowd fund given to sushant's family as a tribute to fight the case and get get to the to, to justice even a 5 rupee from millions of people is worth it absolutely ma'am you, this is the message i want to give through your platform to the public that you are crying and you know there is no need to blame game or defame anyone the main thing is money if they think that money uh, money talks and bullshit walks so then let's collect crowd fund and give it to the family in and to the or to the government or to cbi that now you investigate you cannot say that you cannot travel over here you cannot travel there because there's no lack of funds you cannot give it to the forensic doctors you cannot pay that fees because there is lack of funds so let's not bring lack of fund as an excuse let's not give them any excuse of power and money then we see once we place the money then we see whether the job is done or not let us hire the top lawyer how much of top lawyer will take 25 lakhs 30 lakhs 50 lakhs because i know in previous uh, uh, cases uh, you know uh, for one hour 25 lakhs was given and the and the criminal was acquitted you right so do you understand me so this is what is happening i am not going to go into the details of uh, that this has not been done why nothing is moving 
either the central government, which is the authority over CBI, either they don't have the funds. In this COVID time, let all the funds go for injections and vaccinations and things like that. Mm. So we, we public, we people who are so sympathetic and who want justice, I think we have got to gather together to raise the voice, to raise the funds and to tell them that no excuse, get, get, uh, uh, get, uh, get us the answers. See, justice is a very high-end game. I am saying get, get to the truth and let, let public uh, forgive the offender. Let public decide, let the family of the deceased decide whether they want to forgive the offender or not. But not cherry pick and decide for us, for the victim's family, that no, we don't want to punish them. We have signed an impurity with them. Very true. Do you understand my point? So my, my thing is that judiciary is a machinery and the machine works with uh, the fuel is money, right? We do, we public have enough power and we can collect enough money to fight this case. Absolutely. Absolutely. You gave it a very practical response to this whole thing because as you said, even it's five rupees, we are 1.3 billion people. I mean, we, we've got it. We've got the... And, and the point is, ma'am, what you're trying to say... But tell me one thing. I want to go back to Gia's case, if you don't mind. Eight years you've been struggling and you've had one of the best lawyers in the country. Now, where where is the position? What do you Where do you stand today with Gia's case, with the kind of struggle uh, you've had? The funny part, the funny part of this is we had been going so long uh, to the court, but unfortunately the uh as the case went to cbi and cbi opposing every document that i was representing to the court so cbi and criminals were in, on in the same boat now what made cbi to be in the same boat some political pressure in maharashtra which after what happened with vaze and paramvir saying is so evident nothing is hidden it is so obvious now that what was happening in my case, I have spilled the beans and I have spoken my heart out even on Republic Channel and all different panels and different platforms. And I have not changed my statements and I have been saying again and again from the day one that my, that my daughter has been killed. And I had told my daughter, warned my daughter to be away from Suraj Pancholi. And that is the time, uh, you know, one of the witness who was there, she, she's also supposed to be a friend of uh, accuser's father and, and my friend, said, don't go after the boy. They, these people are very powerful. They will kill you. Just hold on. I'm with you. Right? And the courts were being managed from the back doors. What happens? Why? That only they know if it is their vested interest. So if CBI was not getting for eight years the, the evidence to conclude the report, they filed the report because they wanted the uh, trial to start. But on what basis a trial will start? Trial will start on the basis of evidences. But the evidences has not been collected by police, from the police. There was a uh, so much of uh, of uh, drama going in in uh, within the uh, the ligature, which is a dupatta, is in the laboratory, and the laboratory says we gave it to the police, and the police says it is with the laboratory. So it was that ping pong game going on, mm. right? Eventually, 2017, uh, police submitted. CBI did not submit. Police submitted to the court. Now CBI is asking the court, please give it to us. Now we don't know whether it has been submitted or not, or what ligature is it the original or is that because in between it was, it is it was destroyed and it it disappeared. It was lost. So suddenly it appeared because why? Because I am putting a lot of pressure. I am asking the court because I have not stopped it. I have not stopped funding my daughter's case. So there is a very big money involved.
there is a huge amount of money that is needed because lawyers it's their business they don't have any other business but to attend courts so they will prepare the case and and appear but then it is a time factor if which lawyer is doing pro bono even if he does he pro bono that means he's taking out money from his pocket right so you have got to be so so filthy rich because the criminals have got deep pocket yeah. so how how is the lawyer mere lawyer is going to match the criminals pocket so it has to be it has to be that public has to do something to raise funds to give it that no excuses there Mom, so this whole thing coming to my point coming to my point so yes. now cpi is asking for two ligature to for the ligature and two blackberry so that they can look into gia was holding z10 which also tells the precise gps location so if they have made an excuse or oh, they were sharing the same tower location right or it was a different tower location or whatever what happened in vazi's case in vazi's case they got all the tower location they got all the digital they they broke the uh, 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 the phone uh, uh, password and got all the messages and every information hmm. but in my in gia's case the cbi themselves are saying that the forensic is saying we cannot tamper with the password because the accused is not giving the password and if we will tamper then we will lose the data so that means the, or in that phone the data are still there the information is still there so when it suits them as i'm telling you they cherry pick when it suits them they will have every expert to look into the matter every forensic to look and open and get to the bottom of the story but so shant and jia are nobody so it doesn't suit them why should they spend money so i had to do most of the work for them that is why i went to the forensic doctors that is why i went to best forensic expert in india and abroad and gave them the report look you can fool people few people for some time but you cannot fool everybody all the time yes our time has come so when i have started speaking people are using their intellect they have changed their narrative they are not believing the media they are not believing the authorities they are putting their own common sense and raising questions yes like how i was raising question i'm with you i'm with you ma'am the what i want to know is what is the latest which is happening now you've had the complete journey with these guys you have it you have the black and white in front of you where do we stand with jia's case uh, technically well i'm repeating i just told you that technically the court the, the trial is on right and due to covid the trial has been delayed it was date after date but my lawyers attend and uh, uh, you know there are travel restrictions so cbi is actually asking for those evidences from maharashtra court which police have submitted and police refuse to give it to cbi so you see in maharashtra cbi has not much say so that is why cbi was quite reluctant in the very beginning to take my case where a judge was very adamant that how is it possible that such an agency is making such a big fuss that uh, and making an excuse that they don't have people if you don't have people it is 1. Uh, some billion uh, population go and pick up experts you think there are not in, uh, intellects roaming around mm. so now the question is that is why i'm saying the question is money mm. so now what is happening uh, uh, look even now like cbi is asking i am waiting for the court what court my my lawyer is saying that cbi is wanting to investigate in two items but my advocate is uh, uh, is asking the court why when the investigation full investigation has not been done and sabotage cbi should investigate further why in two items and we don't know we want to see what they get to the two items are dupatta and the blackberry phone and blackberry and the phones which has got the gps location because all the call logs and the tower location everything has been manipulated by police 
And so what CBI did when they put the charge sheet, in? they cut the paste, uh, cut and paste it. Okay, take it. You're not giving me, this is what I will do. But I will put the charge. So the case continued. In Sushant Singh's, nothing is done. So you are actually, in Sushant's case, we all are in a limbo. Yes. In a limbo and in anxiety and in that, you know, in that hope that something will happen. That hope that something will happen will be only when there is some force of government some, uh, you know, government policy or government leader coming and saying with some guts, you know, that they will look into this and, and bring the truth out. When Republic was doing that, bringing the truth out, all these things that what, what has happened with Pitani and all that, Republic had already exposed it. Yeah. Would, would CBI or police do it on their own? They never went after Pitani. They never asked him questions. They never interrogated anyone. Not even Rhea Chakravarti, who was his uh, uh, girlfriend. They were, in fact, protecting Rhea Chakravarti. They were telling Rhea Chakravarti to say a depressed story about Sushant. It is Rhea Chakravarti who came up with a drug story and she got caught in her own web. Exactly. Because of uh, of the uh, some drug facade that she started, yeah, yeah, do you understand? So she was caught in her own web of lies, like how Suraj Pancholi, you know, all the time his lies are, I mean, they are coming out from from every hole of his hair. He can't stop lying, but eventually they will fall fall back uh, flat. Uh, you know, face flat on their in into their own lies. They are digging their own grave of lies. That's true, ma'am. Now, when we are talking, like I just wanted to keep an angle on Disha because, as you have been really yourself going out and taking out evidences and giving to CBI, you've been, I mean, amazingly active human being. I mean, uh, and then very, a lot of people have been also following you in that regard. Tell me, even a lot of people are telling that this whole thing about Sushant, if Disha's case is not solved, or they're not looked into because Disha's, Disha's case is just brushed, brushed away. Uh, their folks, her folks probably are of different nature and we understand them. And, uh, but somehow that case has just gone under the mattress. And, and somehow that is related with Sushant Singh. And, you know, what do you have any take on that? Look, most of the story, backstory was exposed in, in media, in Republic and your platform, other platforms, you know, your, uh, uh, your type platforms about Disha Salim. What is the most saddest part? That the parents have taken the backseat. You see, in, what is judiciary? If you appear, the the people around influence you. What your what's your agenda? What's your agenda with the criminal? It has happened. Now she won't come back. And now why do you want to bring the criminal to task? But as a mother, if a mother pleads, if mother mother says that I want to know how my why and how my child died. Who pushed her or why would she drop herself or what is it? You see, I went to the extent of getting my daughter's pictures and the, the accused was acquitted. The accused was released on bail when they wanted, when the police wanted to arrest him, they got all the evidences, all, all the text messages and everything and arrested him. When they wanted to release, they just removed everything from the application and the judge said, lack of evidence there is nothing for for the judge to hold this uh, boy so release him now once he's released on bail it is forever no? means you have given him an acquittal and disha salians the parents are not standing her loyal there was no loyal friend there was nobody was she such an orphan because there is no one to ask uh, police any questions. So the case is, uh, police is not interested. Police brushed it. 
No one is there to ask. No authority is, in, is in, interested to find out or ask question. Who has gone and filed a case against uh, authorities regarding Disha Sali and that we want to know what has happened? Has the case gone to CBI? Sushant's case went. It should automatically uh, go to uh, uh, CBI. But who has gone to High Court also? Or Supreme Court fighting for Disha Salian? Which lawyer has done that? Who is doing it on pro bono, on the humanitarian ground? Which human rights has gone and asked a question from Supreme Court? Human rights have got a great institute, organization for human rights. So it's a human rights responsibility to go and fight for Disha Salian. We want to know such an ambitious and, uh, and articulated person, talented person managing such high-end high actors, celebrities. How come, how, why will she drop herself dead? What kind of uh, depression she had? What clinical uh, evidence is there? What uh, uh, proof is there? Where, where, what has her boyfriend got to say? Did her uh, uh, boyfriend abetted uh, uh, for her to throw herself down 14th floor? Then uh, who is arresting the boyfriend? Catch hold of the boyfriend. Put him behind bars and ask him, interrogate him. Who has done that? Absolutely. The boyfriend is free because there is no one. It's a merciless. It's so sad that uh, no one is standing up and nobody is making that noise and going to the court. Or, or sending a, uh, some kind of a summon to this uh, boyfriend to come and give answers. If the Shah Salian was also in the drug racket, for example, mm -hmm. and was trying to protect, why ED or NCB and all are not probing into it? Why Rohan is not being uh, questioned by them? Very relevant, very relevant questions, ma'am. And uh, that is such a sad story. And uh, why? Yes. I, yeah. Yes, because no one is, no lawyer, nobody is there. A lawyer will only go if there is some someone from the family member who is going to. A lawyer can do pro bono, but a family member has to stand by the lawyer. Absolutely. Right? Which lawyer is going to do it? And I tell you, whosoever will do it will be applauded in my eyes. Mm. And when I die, I will tell God also to bless them. That's really kind. Ma'am, I understand. There is no anchor to these cases. That's what you're trying to. And Gia has come away, you know, the case with your daughter because you were anchoring that case from your personal end. So I can understand that there is no such, you know, because either one person or authority or agency or somebody. But as you rightly said, it's a corrupted society we are living in. From top to the toe, everything is corruption. Now, there has to be one thread, red thread, so that somebody can actually take it up to the top, from the low to the top, and that is missing. And now you gave us such a wonderful practical response. If we as a cesareans who are really caring about this boy and Disha and all and the nameless cases, we got to put it on action in practicality. We cannot just talk emotions. Hire, hire gather the funds, hire a, uh, a, a good lawyer, whether he's doing it on pro bono, because the money can money is used in many many uh, 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 you know fronts. It, uh, it is to be given to the forensic experts. It has to be given to the cri criminologist who will come and see the crime scene and make a report and all. So these things, these these work I have done. Do you understand me? A fund has to be uh, attested. I can give names of those forensic experts who are who are uh, you know who are carrying that credibility in the in the courts, in the world courts, international courts. Who can be hired and who can be told, please give us. And then somebody has got to go take this report to the court and open the case. Because in my case. The case was shut when I went to the advocate uh, in on your platform. I don't want to mention any of the names. When I went to the advocate, I had the pictures which I got it from police. 
Today, police is not looking at those pictures and did not attach to the, uh, to the chart sheet to tell the judge what? Oh, we didn't take the pictures. Let me tell you, even the smallest police officer has got a mobile and they take the pictures of the crime scene. The police officer in Jia's case took hundreds of pictures in his mobile. He, in fact, questions witnesses over there. Okay, how did this injury happen? The police officer is seeing injury happening. You look at his uh, 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 statement, CBI statement. Is uh, uh, Did he mention, did CBI ask, did you see any injury? Why? Because CBI also does not want to acknowledge the photographs. These are, these are the strategies they play. The method of wherever, wherever you find the doubt, the light, that is where they are trying to cover the lid. Exactly. Wherever the light is, they are wanting to cover. Now, the light is in the pictures of Sushant Singh, how he brutally he was killed. Has ever CBI or police mentioned anything about the pictures? So the silent game, just be silent. It will die out. My dear, my dear officers, silent game. When you are silent, then God speaks. God speaks, universe speaks in volume. The, the things that you're not talking is that's where the light is. If you're talking about Pitani, or about it may be not Pitani who has killed Sushant. Mm. So that is why they are catching him because they have got to catch somebody. Mm. Why do you think they have allowed him to go and uh, go for marriage? Why do you think they are? They are. I I will not trust. I will say that this is all game, just to put a bull in your eyes. Mm. They caught uh, Jia's uh, accused Suraj Pancholi was a game. Just to put a bull in public's eyes. And media at that time was making stories about Jia, making films about Jia, making their, you know, Star TV, making all that, you know, about Jia's love story and all that, you know. How idiotic was the move? That move was the most idiotic move. Because they do not even know any fact. They're trying to, you know, distort the facts. And they are making fun of themselves and humiliating themselves in the face of universe. One should be sympathetic towards the deceased. One should respect, respect the deceased who has been killed. They are martyrs. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to give their life. Their life has been taken. Yeah. One should give respect to them, but not humiliate and make criminals to be like eagle and fly high and give them high positions and make them make the public feel that they are normal people if that is normal then we are all abnormal so that is the new way of society to say that these people are criminals are normal and we are abnormal mm. then you and me are abnormal so this is the new uh, new culture of of the society yeah. it's pathetic it's pathetic they are creating their own revolution they are creating their own acts Sooner or later, it will ask them. I'm with you. I'm totally with you on this. And ma'am, this is such an important talk that you've just uh, put it in forward because there's so many relevant thoughts you've expressed to not just one authority, but even to the loved ones, even to the people, because there is no judgment, judgmental we are passing. We're not passing any judgmentals. We're just saying that let the truth come out. As you said, let the truth be out. Yeah. And then they can continue talking about, you know, investigating the murders. But at least they must not deny that this is, was killings. These are not suicidals. I mean, you know your daughter, for God's sake. She was happy a few hours before. You've mentioned it hundred times to the public. You just met. She was, she was, she was having, she was having to go back to London, and she was, she was happy girl. And why would, why would you just, you know? mudsling the person who is no more. It's almost mudslinging when a person is willing to live and he's killed and you mudsling that person and say that he wanted to take away her life. That is pathetic. That is the most crappiest thing to do to anybody. Because and criminals are control freaks. 
you have seen you have seen top uh, actresses being beaten blue black by the icons of bollywood you have seen how humiliating is that and bollywood has taken it you have seen actresses being being threatened uh, for for death and uh, 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 you know being uh, drugged spited with uh, 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 spiting their uh, drinks and uh, and uh, uh, you know raping them is there any fir is there any fir no not at all not at all so what what is it it is all cherry picking it suited them sheena bora's case so they went and dug the grave and got the skull and did the forensic and caught peter mukherjee and put him behind bars because it suited them there must be some agenda behind why not disha salian and, uh, and ssr when public is raving so much and now earlier the media was was doing today media is silent so now they are thinking oh in another year media will die and this this little voice that is popping up even that will die out people will soon you know leave twitter and social media and get back to normal exactly. and the criminals will fly high that's the hope but i swear i tell you until unless people don't by raising just raising voice and telling authority is not going to make any sense and covid is the right example where funds were not even given for vaccination whether the government has lack of funds or whether the uh, individual pocket is, is lacking funds or that uh, individual does not have that charitable heart so saving the criminal is fine i am saying you save them but let them reflect on the crime that they have done so that they can they can evolve not commit crime again and again first it was jia then this one then sushant dishan then sushant it's like a serial killing so where is it going to end when it will end in their own children that's when is that a wake up call I don't think you and me are waiting for criminals to go and kill authorities' children. I'm with you, ma'am. Very prominent, very, very valid question. Absolutely, absolutely. So it is. It is a question. There are many uh, officers in police and CBI who are wanting the truth to come out. So that is why. Why do you think inconclusive report? Even the report, if CBI had to. completely uh, you know sabotage this chart sheet they could have not put that we are not saying that it is suicide it is the accused who is saying it's a suicide hmm. okay if the accused is saying it's a suicide then what are you saying yeah so now now we have discovered that oh my god cbi for last so many years did not get the evidence but my question is cbi you have all the authority to go to the court and and seek it yeah why did cbi not go because they knew probably that uh, uh, you know the criminals have more power to manage the judiciary or what because coming to blackberry i had appeared uh, in high court telling high court that cbi says that they cannot tamper into the phone because the password is not given mm. so i went the, with the digital forensic experts report that nothing in the digital world is deleted so why cbi is not doing if they don't want then give it back to me it's my daughter's property cbi refused cbi was opposing me and then refused now why are you opposing me if you are opposing me then who you are going to take for prosecution mm. who are you prosecuting i went to high court i pleaded high court to give the case to cbi and cbi was opposing me when i am asking cbi why these things are not in your chart sheet why these evidences are not represented to the court 
So I had to go to high court. I had to go to Supreme Court and then go back to trial court and submit it. After the big, you know, uh, hiring more lawyers, more faces, because it's the faces. And through the faces, uh, uh, you know, you come to know how much money you are spending. Yes. If I hire you and you are a very, you then everyone will know that if I have hired you, you are a very prominent face in the court and your fees is very, is a skyrocket. So my dear Sushant's family, they will bleed financially. They are already bleeding with such a big loss as I am also. But I will not say that I'm bleeding financially. Because I don't care about money. I don't care. I have put whatever I have not counted. Why? It's my my child, my daughter. But I will not say that for Dish, uh, Disha or Sushant's parents because each one to their own capacity. I'm with you. So I will not blame them. I'm with you. Do you understand me? So it is it is their intellect also because they don't have that resources. They don't have that deep pockets. Mm. So they will be bleeding from all sides. Mm. This power game has to end. And this will end only with the voice of every individual. In Jessica Lal's case, in Priya Dashini Mattu's case, mm. so many cases the, the uh, criminals were given acquittal. And then what happened? Then some pro, you know, Samaritan did not stop fighting and went and reopened the case. And where the uh, those acquitted, um, uh, uh, the Priyadarshini uh, Matus criminal got married, got child. And then mm. what happened? In time, he was caught and he was given uh, life imprisonment. Yeah. So we also have on that hope and safe and that, that uh, hope and uh, 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 assurance that justice system, it is like a machinery. So the machinery, the fuel needs to be, you know, kept pouring so that the machinery does not stop. I'm with you. I'm with you. Ma'am, so uh, yeah, please continue. So, you know what happens? It's such a vicious game where sometimes the lawyers compromise. As we say that the police is complicit or, or CBI officers are complicit or they are lazy or they are incompetent. Competent. We make so many excuses and so many, uh, you know, uh, 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 statements. Yeah, statements about about them. But how do you know that they are not being pressurized or threatened by the same criminals? So people, you know, do get scared. Yes. Ma people Ma are attached I to their family. To you here because I want to just highlight this thought that you are invoking in people because I think I'm really, really grateful to you that you are also thinking for those people who are not able to do their job, although you understand the human mentality and you understand that even those people who fail you, we must give our compassion to them and not just blame game them, but understand the whole totality. It's a beautiful point you've raised up. The people who are chasing the justice must understand that everybody has their limitations and they're walking through their limitations. Of course, you are also having limitations, but you have trespassed those limitations. You also not got the ocean of money. You are, but you're not, you're doing what the best you can. You're not stopping everywhere. So I think this is a it's extremely beautiful point you raised and I want people who are hearing you must understand. So here we are not blaming as you rightly, you're the proof you've fought for eight years for your child, your blood and flesh. And you're still favoring, you're still understanding their limitation. And that's hats off to you, ma'am, with full, you know, heart from my heart, hand on my heart. And and uh, so this is a wonderful point. But please continue the 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 one you were saying. Uh, like, I so, think yeah. that if Salyan is our sister or our daughter, if Sushant is our brother or our son. So we, we you say now, why is your heart going? Of course, my heart is going because I'm seeing injustice. 
I'm seeing injustice and I'm seeing the vulnerability of the family, the vulnerability of the officers, the many, many things putting together. So we people, we are the voice. So we have got to give them also the strength because they will also get the strength when the when they see the movement, when they see, look what people are doing. Just making a move and get, standing at the door is not going to help. But when we collect crowdfund it, when we collect, okay, we are raising a voice. Here is the money. Is there anybody, some God savior who will come and give justice so that we protect others? so that we live peacefully, so that we in this game, actually, we are not condemning the criminals. We are giving a chance to the criminal also to reform, not to commit more sins. You see, we are stopping him from committing more sins. We are stopping him from having such, uh, you know, such adverse calamity upon himself. By doing this, we are protecting his karma also. Absolutely. Otherwise, can go and commit maybe 50, 60 sins, such, such crimes. Keep on, keep on killing. Keep on taking. There are serial killers like Ted Bundy and all who have done 50, 60 uh, killings. There are psychopaths who have done it. And what was the eventual outcome? There is no invincibility or some immortality. But then what a, what a humiliating death. And it's not easy to die. So don't give me that that excuse or that kind of a thing that Gia, Gia committed suicide. You know, you slap yourself if you say that. You have got to be ashamed of yourself without even knowing the family, without even knowing Gia to uh, say something like that. And without even knowing Sushant. People who knew him are complicit with the, uh, with the criminals because they are covered. Like my friend was saying, Are don't say, don't take his name, don't say because his father is very powerful and you know his uh, his his connections are very high end. So what? Is he playing God? I'm with you, ma'am. Totally with you. Ma'am, I would just draw back in the regard that you have come out with some very valid points. You also mentioned in our last discussion that governments, as you've mentioned it many times, I want to just uh, say it one more time that the CBIs, like when Entela came, when the Entela thing come, you know, came, how did they do it? Right? Immediate so, orders. Yeah. We want the result ASAP. Immediate orders that even the officers went into the river and got the. And then what happened? Those uh, those digital uh, gadgets were damaged, but they got the information, no? Exactly. And people were interrogated. Today, Mansuk's uh, 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 cause of death has been declared that it were, he was murdered, brutally murdered. His pictures were all over flashing. Sushant's pictures and Gia's pictures were not flashing through the through uh, police or anyone. They concealed every truth they were concealing. Wherever anyone who would go and say, yes, we have heard Gia's accused used to beat us up. They were told to shut up. Don't even mention it. So I was isolated and I was uh, I was alone. Thinking they are thinking how long she will fight. How long she will carry on? Meri bachi thi wo. Universe ne mujhe di thi. Mai to heran hoti hu Disha Salyan ke maa baap par ek tarah se, par ek tarah unki majburi bhi samajhti hu. Unke paas kaha itna madda hoga to look into. Arey court kacheri mein to statements to kya? पेपर्स निकाल दिए जाते हैं जब जज के पास में फाइल जाती है उसमें से रेलेवेंट पेपर्स निकाल दिए जाते हैं उनके पी उनको 100 200 पकड़ा दो और पेपर निकल जाएगा तो फिर जज अब जज वहां पर क्या जज डजंट नो जज डजंट नो हु इज डूइंग व्हाट हेरा फेरी बट इवेंचुअली जज गेट्स इट बिकॉज़ लॉट ऑफ केसेस हैव बीन क्रैक्ड इट वाज द 
either the intellect of a judge or his, uh, uh, you know, his gut feeling hmm. that there is something more than what uh, uh, meets the eye. तो इट्स आप आप लोगों को तो अभी सुशांत का कुछ पता ही नहीं चला ऑफिशियली कुछ आवाज ही नहीं उठी ऑफिशियली हमारे केस में तो एक तरफ कहते हैं कि द फादर टोल्ड द सन टू डिलीट द ब्लैकबेरी मैसेजेस देन पुलिस चेंजेस द स्टेटमेंट एंड सेस नो द सन डिलीटेड इट बिकॉज़ ही वाज फीलिंग इरिटेटेड एंड द सन वाज डाइनिंग विद जिया The one night before mm. in marriott hotel discussing where she is discussing about her sister arriving next day and the jewelry order and uh, discussing about the film that she has got and she's going to be flying to london following thursday mm. so she will be leaving for london very amicably very nicely very friendly eating at her expense and next day becomes cold why because jia gave him the money to give it to the new, to the jeweler and he had a change of mind mm. so there were con 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 uh, conversation was going on that why i never knew about this i came to know only from the statements mm. jia never told me that uh, because she wanted to give a surprise all she told me mummy it is kavi's birthday her sister's birthday and she she is preparing a surprise for her so for me it was just a surprise gift hmm. so i came to know the surprise gift was the jewelry hmm. so he suddenly decided that he wants to just uh, you know keep that money for himself so they had a fight hmm. and that is very logical hmm. and second fight reason was that i have signed three films i want to celebrate with you you are a boyfriend you were dining with her hmm. right so i am sure that authorities have asked him this question so now he twists and says no jia and mother were having fight you never said that in your statement before so now you are trying to fool the audience more but you are not understanding mr accused that you are lying and your lies are very getting evident each day so the fight was regarding why you are not happy that i have signed the films hmm. and why you are not giving money to nilu hmm. you are telling me you are going and meeting nilu and nilu is saying that she is supposed to meet you tomorrow the next day hmm. so there was a confusion in all that so hmm. she goes to the house she sees and he says uh, the, she calls the servant and servant says or oh, tell uh, uh, you know uh, gi is calling so he says or oh, tell her that i am with the father but you are sitting with your boyfriend and you are telling and the and the servant says no she was standing at the window and she saw everything so how how can i say that she seen it so he gets that rage and that fury tells his boyfriend go and see which direction she is gone why in one minute you are saying that i am avoiding i am trying to avoid her right and we fell off she was Uh, getting behind me because she had a fight with mother and then you're getting going after her to find out why you want to find out where she is where she's gone what's your agenda did police find out did he did he follow did police find out from karan joshi did uh, the watchman who directed that she's gone to this direction there are 14 cctv why did police not take uh, 14 uh, records from the 14 cctv from his house and up to jia's house there are iskon temple iskon temple have got 450 uh, 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 cctvs on the road hmm. and he stays just next to the iskon temple so if he's crossing that road it will be seen in that cctv if he's crossing that street there are so many shops that have got cctv i'm telling you there are 14 cctvs but the police was not interested because police was told not to look that side look the other way so why because there is a truth in it so you have got to understand my dear that what police what questions you are raising that's the question police have already looked into and now they don't want to they want to cover that 
and all the other stories that you are hearing are diversions catch hold of riya chakravarti inside you don't know inside the jail what was happening she was not interrogated she must have been given the best of food and some consola consolation that don't worry you know you have to spend 21 days because there is a thing that if you spend a uh, uh, custody time 21 then in another agency who will come they cannot take you in the custody you see there are all these system a system has got something within the system which police is not going to say that we have arrested her for 21 days now we cannot arrest her cbi is not going to say who is going to tell you i am telling you so imagine what a common man if he goes and and wants to stand as a witness is so badly interrogated by the police yeah that he decides i rather why did i do this yeah. why did i volunteer i better get out so what i'm saying in sabotaging evidences there is a truth in delaying the trial there is a truth and the truth is exactly what your gut says i'm with you ma'am i'm with you and i'm i'm totally so grateful to you that yeah i have you know it's so um, it's so because the fact is that you are now sharing the truth of the system how the system is working you it is your independent case you're not just talking stories here you're not a youtuber it's happened to your own flesh kith and kin for god's sake so this is a beautiful eye opener for public as you said this is their gut feeling and now they have to put it on action if they want to have some kind of saviorness they must support you they must support uh, sushan singh's uh, case in terms of going out and telling people that okay we're going to hire somebody and we're going to make sure that the files are opened the way they're supposed to look republic channel as you can see the trp went very high the entire world was watching and hooked on it and they have exposed they called best of the experts the best of the forensic experts everyone the officials and everything and opened the entire system they laid it in front an entire uh uh, uh proves that disha salian and sushant singh could have not taken their life right what did authority do in disha salian's case somebody who has fallen from 14th floor where is the crime scene marked where is the forensic collected where are the pictures of the body in what condition and how it was lying nothing 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 where is the reconstruction i am saying make a make a same weight uh, 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 model and throw it down on the floor from 14th floor and see what happens you reconstruct it and see and do same for jia and do same for sushant these authorities we don't need to train them we don't need to tell them what to do they know you see if you go to a doctor you have to give money for the doctor to diagnose you and to do what the doctor needs to do so these lawyers they know exactly what questions to be asked and what evidence is to be collected and if they are not getting it in writing then go through the court if you are not getting through the court that means there is something serious like i am not getting anything through the court so uh, there is something very serious so the pressure is on cbi so why are you not asking you need to ask the court why is cbi not going to supreme court and saying it has been almost a year and we have not got any evidences from the police let supreme court give order to maharashtra why who is stopping so i think sushant has a family lawyer and i i i did hear that he's putting pressure on on pressing on charge sheet and then soon probably he might go to high court or supreme court saying that you know 
it is uh, it, it, they need to expedite mm. Mm. because you have got to speed it up yes yes we know okay. that there are uh, billions of people in india but there are not billions of sushant and jia khan and disha salian no everyone is your unique in their own way so the saddest part is that authorities are not moving their finger they are not and i will not say they are they don't want to they want to so there are certain hindrances so what are those hindrances the hindrances can be they can't say lack of people lack of experts there are millions of experts in the world yes they can say lack of order from the central government right or hurdles from central government because cbi is central government or lack of funds so these are the two things that they can come up with ma'am one question is coming up when you're talking is like if you have the answer for that is cbi the central bureau in investigation is he also dependent on orders from uh direct it is a body governed by central government when the central government uh, wanted chidambaram and others to be arrested overnight so those funds are are kept for those reasons sushant you know like antalya case was a like a terrorist case a national threat or a threat to a to a, a great uh, uh, business person personality but sushant and disha and jia it's not interest of uh, central government high court has given the order now what order to mil gaya hai ab paisa kahan se aayega i understand i understand who will sanction that money public money mr ambani is a great tax payer mm. so shah was also a tax payer jia was a tax payer mm. disha was a tax payer mm. so count their taxes mm. if you are a tax payer and this is how you are treated the prisons are filled with all filthy people in a sense like somebody who does not even need to be in the prison but why when such crimes have happened and the criminals are roaming free now pitani has been given bail for marriage who is stopping you from getting married yeah carry on because he is not found guilty yeah so he will be given a, a a chance to live his life jia's accused has not been found guilty he has denied guilt being guilty of torturing or being guilty of uh, aborting the baby being not guilty of anything he saying i'm not guilty of anything so what he did is absolutely fine fine for the system fine for the bollywood icons and being human it's fine for them in fact they made him a hero that that's the kind of candidates they want because then they can they can use him as a weapon he's a walking weapon very true mam i think you have been extremely uh kind of vibrant and have articulated to the core and i hope people can recognize um, the play behind the scenes you've actually come out and you know the door of human rights that you human right can appoint a lawyer and human right can say on human right on human grounds we want to know that these two human beings have been have been, their life has been taken on what basis yeah yeah i'm with you you understand me mm. so there is a body called cbc 
who acts above CBI, they should question what's happening. So just making remarks on, on social media and, you know, all this is, uh, it will go on and it will die out its own death. But the real thing is to take an action to form a fund and you put Sushant Singh and Disha's Justice Fund. Fantastic. I really appreciate and I think you've given the extremely valid uh, you know answers to people who are really really interested to actually do something not just about talking and writing some you know statements in the facebook that's yes. not what it's going to Condem help and condemning that you know what no point yeah because judiciary is a, is a machinery it works any any good lawyer will appear and talk and uh, they will listen you need to bring the evidence forward you need to bring whether it is circumstantial or whatever but evidence has to be forwarded. Ma'am, you just let me know now you're you are now waiting for your case to move on. And you're, you know, it's the you said that wherever it is. Now, according to your, because you're never going to end fighting. And uh, I'm sure SSRians and all the other who are facing, because I see that you are a greatest anchor for all the cases at the same time, Sushant himself has been a greatest anchor for calling for justice and truth and we SSRians are following that energy. Now, for me to ask you this question is basically that from not from the emotional perspective, from your intellectual side, what do you see our justice as you've mentioned it openly, what they're all about, you still believe that justice can prevail? Look, Word justice is a tall haul, long haul. I am saying, let the machine move. Don't let it stand. Right now, it is a, on a standstill, and it will. Be, if it is not going to have a movement, it will. If it is not going to move, then it will definitely die out. So, you have to let the wheels move wheel of justice to move and that needs fuel yeah you understand my point government funds are kept for for bigger reasons they may say oh rabia is bakwas karaiya what rabesh and yevona i am not doing any bakwas they say that the enemy is my our enemy also. No, I'm sorry, he's not your enemy. In fact, on the contrary, you're sitting in an enemy's boat. Because enemies have got deep pockets. So it, we have got, a lawyer will move if a lawyer gets his fees. Because that is the base that he's living on. There is no Samaritans. Only sharks can eat, you know, they don't attack their own kind. But the thing, <laughs> the thing is that we have to have somebody, whether it is Vika, uh, Mr. Advocate Vikas or whether somebody more prominent face, uh, a higher, that's what, if anybody thinks, I am not pointing out that X, Y, Z. I am saying whatever it is, the, there is a big funds that needs to go to open the Shah Salian's case. To open Sushant's case. And how any private this thing has to be, the, one has to hire the forensic experts, has to make a report, prepare the case, the lawyer can prepare the case and take it that this is this is the expert's opinion and that is the expert's opinion and these are the questions that we want the authorities to answer then the police has to come to the court and answer those questions absolutely i'm with you ma'am totally yeah so i think uh, yeah uh, is there anything that uh, i think ma'am for today today ma'am you've you've really you know i think we there's a lot of food to think 
you've given lots of uh, you know a lot of people are actually saying i don't i'm not going to take up your time for that i'm going to read them later on but there are a lot of people who are really really thanking you for actually being an eye opener and uh, speaking your heart with so much of facts and uh, making so much sense a lot of people are thanking you i i am saying if you go and ask a question from police will they answer you no but if the court will ask them they will have to give in writing yes yes who is asking so disha salyan you forget until unless the authorities are not asked question by the court i'm with you so who is the samaritan got your point ma'am absolutely got your point fantastic i it's would a just a jungle so you have got to be fearless and if you are covered then please put a gravestone on the case with you ma'am and then don't make you know uh, a noise in hollow uh, uh, hollow sky absolutely ma'am ma'am lots of regards and respects to you and thank you so much from the bottom of my heart to be here lots of love to you take care thank you, thank you. this was i just don't have name for mam rabia she's an amazing human being she's such a fighter we all as sarians get inspiration from such a human being who is not stopping who is continuing her journey of fight for justice and truth and she avails herself for every count if ever i call her up she absolutely amazing she says i'm going to go out and speak my mind because until we do not put things in actions nothing will move as she said the wheels of justice must move through the actions and if we as sarians can create a kind of a movement not digital but also movement so we can hire some kind of uh, you know advocates who are willing to put their time and will are willing to put their resources to figure this out so that they have some valid questions to the court and court must answer because there's a lot of loopholes a lot of loopholes in these cases i'm sure you people understand this and so we need to we need to not just simply be digitally active we need to actually get going in practical terms and practical terms is calling for the courts raising questions to the courts the agencies and authorities whatever they are doing but is the court finally will raise the questions and answer the questions where is the you know truth behind the 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 mysterious deaths of these people because we don't have any proofs today in our hands all the proofs have been sabotaged everything we had is somewhere in the air and for those things we need we need because court needs proofs evidences who will get these evidences from where do we find these evidences who will fight for these cases we can raise our voices but who will do the things in actuality in practicality is the question i raised to you the cesarians the army that sushant has created through his soulful being and his pure self i raised these questions to you as cesarians who will act and go out for solving these cases disha case sushant, uh, sushant singh rajput's case jia khan's case and all the other nameless cases that has been put to rest in the hope that we will tire we as cesarians will get tired and we will go back to the normal is that what we want this is the question put to you by me sanya raj your host coming back again sometime in uh, next week jai hind namaskar